Good morning guys, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are all doing so well. It is a beautiful morning here. It is blue skies. Um, it's still pretty early, it's 10 past eight. Usually I'm teaching a class at this time, but this morning we actually don't have a Saturday morning class. So I'm kind of happy about it because it was really nice to not have an alarm and get up when my body was ready to get up. So it's been a lovely morning. Um, I obviously don't sleep in hugely because I'm just so used to my early wake up so it doesn't feel natural to just like sleep in for as long as I can or as long as I would want to, want, would want to. But I also kind of like getting my morning started and getting going like I had enough sleep. I had like eight hours of sleep so I don't need more you know. Um, anyway, I've made my coffee. I'm sitting on the couch. I'm about to just watch some series, take it easy for a little bit. I have a breakfast this morning with my friend, so I'm looking forward to that. She's heading back. She was actually heading to Cape Town soon for a week or today, and then she heads to London. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to see her after that. So I'm excited for our breakfast together. Um, and then this afternoon we have friends coming over, so I'm going to do a little bit of planning with you guys and show you what I'm making and what we're doing for um, like afternoon bry type of thing. And then I'm going to take you guys through my sourdough starter. I told you I'll give you an update. I'm going to do that. Today's the day we discard some. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. We discard some and refill it. So I'm excited. Um, it's got the smell that it's meant to have. It stinks. It's like, it kind of threw me off a bit. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, I've done something very wrong. But apparently it's meant to have that smell. So I'm not 100% sure, but I have read and everywhere says the smell is normal, but just keep going, keep feeding it, keep discarding and keep pushing through and don't throw it away. So I'm trying to just keep going. Um, but I mean, it looks good. It like, kind of looks like it should. It just looks like wet dough, to be quite honest. It looks very gross, but I'm excited. I'm going to try my best. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But I'm going to keep going and see where it goes. Um, I'm going to go for a walk this morning because I only have breakfast in like two hours. So I have time for a little coffee, go upstairs, get dressed, go for a walk and then head to breaky. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys through the weekend with me. So I hope you enjoy. Get a cup of coffee. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it so much. We're growing. It's slow, but it's steady. And it's all I could honestly want and hope for. So I'd love if you could subscribe, like this video, and just keep watching. And yeah, enjoy. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes. Okay, so I have actually written myself a list out for the morning. I have quite a few things I need to do this morning and I wanted to get it all down on paper just so I remember to do everything. Um, I'm going to feed my sourdough now with you guys so I can show it to you. And then I'm heading out for my breakfast with my friend. When I'm out, I need to get some flowers for the house just so it looks nice and cozy when all our friends come over and I need to get some drinks for our um, lunch. I already bought all the food yesterday, so at least that's all sorted. Um, I also want to go for a bit of a walk before the friend, our friends come and obviously like I need to get ready after so at some point this morning I want to get some exercise just a few steps in just to get out get some air I've been finding my walks very therapeutic and very good for my space and my mental health so I try to do some form of exercise every day um, so today I want to try to get a walk in it's Saturday I don't want to do anything too strenuous um, and then I need to lay the table and just kind of get up get up get ready for um, for our lunch with our friends. So it's not too much to do, but I'm glad I like have it written down. Oh, and I also needed to feed our plants, which I've done. That's already been marked off the list. But, uh, plants are fed, so that's good. Um, now I just need to feed our, my sourdough starter, which I'm gonna show you guys. So let's go quickly do that. Um, I'll put you down here. Okay, so this bad boy has been growing over the past couple of days. It is looking very thick. It's not really bubbly yet. I, I'm sure that will come. It stinks. Like, ooh, it smells like so bad. I don't even want to say what it smells like, but it's, ooh, it stinks. So I'm hoping that goes away. I'm going to discard about a cup and then refill it a cup. So a cup of flour, a cup of water, because I'm discarding a cup. So I'm going to do that now and let's feed this bad boy.
so we are done um it smells a lot better when i like kind of make more of it and like feed it, it the, that, that like acidity and that real bad like smell goes away like a little bit um but it's a very messy process to feed because my jar is quite a small lid so to get the flour and the water in there and then to have to like mix it and yeah it's a bit of a process but anyway i'm kind of as i said taking it a day at a time i mean i bought flour yesterday and it was 21 rand so it's not as though like if this doesn't work out i haven't broke the bank it's not the end of the world i tried and we move on with our life but i'm hoping that it kind of comes together at the moment it's not looking too promising it stinks but um as I said earlier, I kind of read up on it and it seems like that's okay. If you can hear a noise, my dishwasher's going. So I didn't even think to tell you guys that is the noise in the background. Sorry if it's a bit um, annoying. But I can take off my feed sourdough off my list. And I'm about to get into my car, go fetch my friend and go for a delicious brekkie. Never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in long conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you. Okay, so it is quite a bit later now. I have had a very successful morning. I went for my breakfast with my friend. I had like this really good breakfast wrap. I haven't had like a breakfast wrap in ages and it was delicious. Um, and then I needed to, as I told you guys earlier, go get a few things for the afternoon. So it was successful. I wanted to buy some tulips, but they were so short, like the stems were tiny and my vases are quite like deep. So yeah, that didn't work out, but I got some proteas and they look really nice. I will show you guys them now. Oh, I showed you in a little montage with me putting them into my, my vase. Um, they look very pretty. And then I bought some drinks that we needed. So yeah, very successful, got everything done. I need to wipe down our table outside because we had like builders over this week um, and it's still very dusty. They actually haven't even finished, so it doesn't look great and we want to do it our little like lunch outside, but ugh, it is what it is, not the end of the world. But because they did like a lot of stuff with cement and um, sanding, it's very dusty out there. So I need to wash the table and chairs down. Hopefully Josh will be home soon from golf so he can actually assist me and help me. Um, but we will see. I don't even know what's the time. Half is 12. So yeah, we'll see. Hope he gets home soon. Um, I wanted to go for a walk, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time for that. I still wanna get ready and they're coming in an hour and a half. So I need to get ready, I need to make a salad. I need to yeah, just like prepare a few things, lay the table, wash the table. Um, but I'm trying to like, I'm trying to change my mindset at the moment. I'm a very easily stressed person. Like small things for me feel like really big deals and like little things seem so much bigger than they are. And I'm trying to shift that mentality. Like we're so blessed to be having our friends over in our home and like being able to provide food and drinks and have a good time and listen to music. So I want to change my perspective to that as opposed to it's gonna be so much mess or it's gonna be, you know, so expensive to host people or it's gonna take so long to prepare. Like that isn't the way I wanna live my life. Like I feel like I'm very easily, I don't know. That's just why my mentality was always stress first and then afterwards I'm like, oh, it wasn't that bad. So I'd rather look at it in a positive light and be like so excited about it, which I am, as opposed to worry about the stress part of it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if that, if, I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, but I'm a very um, easily stressed person and I'm trying to shift that to look at things far more positively and look at it from an angle of like, how lucky are we to be able to do this? You know, um, but yeah, so there's a few more things to do, but not too much. I'm excited to make salad. I love this one salad I'm obsessed with, and I will take you guys along whilst I make it. Um, and then honestly, it's just Josh has to cook meat on the braai, um, and our friends are bringing a few things. So it's very stressless. So I don't know why I usually have such a, I don't know, stressed out mentality, but it's who I am, and I'm trying to change it. I'm making a conscious effort to change it and to look at things in a more positive and happy light. Um, and so far I feel like I'm doing well, so I'm gonna keep at it. But yeah, I'm going to clean the table outside, lay the table, and then make a salad.
Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird good morning guys happy monday okay so yesterday i had all intentions of vlogging um but it failed miserably josh and i went to the spa in the morning and kind of like after the spa i just was in such a relaxed mood and i just i honestly didn't feel like doing anything with my day um josh and i went for breakfast after we came home and we watched ozark the entire day so like literally when i say we got home i had a shower we got on the couch and we watched ozark until I went to bed at nine, I think. That's exactly what we did. So there was really no point in vlogging. Um, it was just a very chill day and I kind of just like needed a day with Josh to relax and just, I don't know, spend time together. Cause even though we live together, I promise you, if you know, if you live with your boyfriend or your partner, you'll know that there's a difference between like living together and spending time together. I feel like we live together obviously, but we don't like connect every day because we're busy. Like Josh works, I work, we do things, you know, we live busy lives. So to have like a Sunday where we both don't have any plans, we're not seeing anyone else, and like to just have one-on-one -on -one time was exactly what we needed. So I didn't want to take away from that by vlogging. So that is why you were not <laughs> um, taking, well, that's why I didn't take you guys through my Sunday. But anyway, it's Monday morning. It's a public holiday. I feel like it's just me or South Africa just like living off long weekends at the moment. Like I'm not complaining, but I'm also like my routine is whack at the moment. Like I don't know if I'm Arthur or Martha. So as much as like I love a good public holiday and I love a long weekend, I do with my job especially. Like routine is very important to both me and my clients. And I sometimes feel like when there is public holidays, their routine is kind of broken as is mine. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of looking forward to going back to like normal life and the public holidays being put behind us. Um, but I know a lot of you that are living a corporate job or working a corporate job are in probably a huge disagreement with that. Um, but today I'm gonna go for a walk. I've just finished like teaching. I did a few classes this morning online, just like certain clients just wanted to continue on with their morning as normal. So I did that um, and I'm gonna go for a little walk and then come home get ready to go to a birthday brunch for my gran um then this afternoon just take it easy i don't think we got much planned this afternoon we're going for dinner tonight with josh's parents um so yeah it'll be a nice chill day so i'm going to take you guys through today so it's kind of like it's the weekend seeing as it's a public holiday so pretty much same thing um but yeah i'm gonna go for a walk come home probably have a little bite to eat quite early brunch so at the moment it's 10 so we're actually going to brunch an hour and a half we're going at 11 30 so i actually don't even know if i should eat if i just should wait because i'm not like starving and i don't want to ruin my appetite it looks like it's gonna be yummy food so yeah we'll see about that but what i do know i'm gonna go put on my tackies my sneakers trainers in south africa we call them tackies i don't know who's watching my videos but tackies are sneakers or trainers and i'm gonna go for a walk Okay guys, so I'm home from my walk. It was great. It was so nice to get out, get some fresh air, listen to some of the podcasts and just took a nice literally walk. Um, came home and made a smoothie. I didn't want to eat anything too filling because we're literally leaving in like 10 minutes for brunch, but I needed something with a bit more nutrients and just like fill me up a little bit for the morning. Um, so my smoothie was delish. And then I got ready for brunch. So I'm all ready, waiting for Josh to just finish a shower and we will go um, to my brother. 
We are going to my brother, we see my nephew, we see my grandparents, it's my grand's birthday so it'll be a nice little morning. Um, and then when I get home later, I actually want to edit this uh, video, I'll say video and vlog, vlog. I want to edit this video so that can get like going. I want to hopefully get it out tomorrow. And then I also, um, I think I told you we're going for dinner with Josh's mom and dad so I'll get ready for that. But I'm excited for brunch, I'm excited to see my nephew, he started walking, so, so cute. Um, and then I'm also excited later to just come home, take it easy, edit this video, and go for a nice little dinner. It's going to be a nice day. So far it's been a great morning, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the day. Okay guys, so it's been a very relaxing, take it easy type of day. I've just been editing this video so that it can be ready for tomorrow. Um, and it's looking very cute so far. I smelled my sourdough starter and today is the first day in like a good five days that it smelled normal. It didn't smell disgusting. For like five days, it smelled like vomit. It literally smelled like vomit. It was, oh, it was gross. But today I smelled it to feed it and I was like, it smells like sourdough. It smells like bread. It smells very like yeasty, but in a good way. So I'm very happy about that. Um, it still doesn't look like bubbly yet, and it's still pretty like runny and like liquidy. So I think from tomorrow I need to change my quantities a little bit. Like maybe add a little bit more flour and a little less. Oh my gosh, this piece of hair is annoying me so much. A little more flour and a little less water. Um, every day I'm kind of like just looking up things that I need to troubleshoot or like things that I think I need to change and so yeah from tomorrow I think what I need to do is just decrease the water increase the flour so that I can get a thicker consistency but today's win is that it does not smell like vomit it smells like yeast so we're, we're getting somewhere I'm very happy about it um, I'm just on the couch as you can see I've got a few uh, sweet chili chips that I'm eating, snacking on with some water, and I'm watching The Ultimatum. Very interesting reality show, a little bit toxic, not really, um, I don't know, a very strange show. It's like these couples that have been together for like three, four years go on a show and like they change partners to see if they are like serious. So like one of the partners is giving the other one an ultimatum, like we either get married or we break up. Um, and in order to test that, they're going on a show and dating other people. So, I mean, it's fun to watch from afar, but is it crazy? I'm going to say yes. It's a bit hectic and extremely toxic, but what reality show isn't toxic? at the moment so yeah anywho that is what i'm doing this afternoon and we're doing a very early dinner with josh's mom and dad so literally in the next two hours it's half three at half past five we're gonna go um for dinner with them which will be nice and early and then we can get home have a good night before our like proper week starts even though today's monday definitely feels like sunday so always blows my mind when we have public holidays and like the next day is tuesday it's great nice short week Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I'm sorry about the lack of updates yesterday. Josh and I literally lay on the couch as if it was a Sunday after we were done our work, like after I finished editing and he was finished his work, we chilled so hard um, and watched Ozark. We finished the whole uh, last couple episodes of Ozark and it was such a good season such a good series in general like if you don't have anything to watch and you've never watched ozark i highly highly recommend so good so entertaining um so sad it's done that was the last season ever so yeah but anyway that's what we pretty much did the whole of yesterday and then we went for a very early dinner with josh's mom and dad literally half past five so i got home from that got into pajamas um finished the last episode actually last night and went to bed pretty early so that was our evening so sorry i didn't really vlog much but there wasn't all that much to show you we went for steak last night it was really good but my stomach is a little bit sore this morning i'm not gonna lie so yeah um i don't know if it was maybe a bit too rich but anyway it was a lovely dinner at the time just feeling the after effects now um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe down below um really supports my channel we are growing as i always say it's slow but it's steady and that is all i could ask for so let's keep growing um and yeah, thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one Bye for now.